So why wait? Another challenge, another movie, not as war games. We're teaching all about web hacking through these war games. Uh, awesome little series of war games uh, going from level 0 to 32, level 33, something like that in this video series. And I'm going to show you all about what these uh, variabilities are all about and how we can break them and learn something, hopefully. <laughs> so this, this little script says there is nothing on this page. Now, before we start hacking something, like there's nothing to hack here. I mean, before you start hacking anything at all, I mean, shouldn't we at least inspect the source? So I'm gonna just do a control U, bring up the source, zoom in a little bit, and we can see that, hey, there doesn't seem to be a lot there, but hmm, <laughs> hmm. What the hell is this? Like this image SRC pixel of PNG. Is there a pixel here? Oh yeah, it kind of looks like a dog when we're selecting it, but there is something there, and obviously this should be a clue or something for us to for us to find, right? So I mean, we go to pixel, remove the view source. And obviously, we're rendering a little pixel in the middle here. Natural question to ask yourself. What else is there? I mean, inside of this files folder up here, is there something called secrets.txt? Who knows, right? Who knows? There might be other stuff in there. Uh, unless you look, and in every single pen test that we deliver, we always look, we gotta, we, we don't know what's there. So we're gonna try to open up the folder and see what's there. Well, it's like game over because there is directory listing turned on. I mean, the web server has a function that is showing us all the files in this folder. Now, this is rather unusual to find online. You still see it here and there, especially uh, on in inside of internal companies on the web servers they have hosted there. You still see this. In fact, we saw this in a pen test this week. Super sensitive system had the directory listing turned on, and when you do, there is no secrets regarding which files are in the folders and which are not. So in this case, we have this users.txt, and of course, it's not very hard to figure out the password for the next level then. Not as tree, and this little password here. This is username. Uh, other ways to find this, I mean, yeah, we look at the source, but if you have a source code that is like it's tens of thousands of lines of code here, it's gonna be hard to find this little files folder. It's not gonna be that simple in real life. So what we do then is that we use our, our local proxies that are intercepting all of this HTTP traffic and so on, and we can take a look inside of the sitemap. And in this case, you can see that, hey, NATIS2 has not only an indexed HTML, like the slash here, which is representative of index.html or something like that, it also has a folder which has contents inside of it. Now, if I were to delete this, delete this host, yes, go back to my browser, press Control F5 to refresh the page and also clear out the cache, go back to NATIS2, it does not show in my sitemap. Why not? Well, it's because of my burp proxy settings. I need to tell it to show me other mime types of files. By default, it hides images and stuff like that. I'm also, also going to show 400 errors, and I'm not going to hide empty folders. This is a good configuration to have, especially when you're exploring, you're doing reconnaissance, and you're trying to find vulnerabilities. Removing these settings automatically reveals false dot uh, the files folder we have the pixel png we can now try to explore the files folder and see that there is directory listing if we did not have the directory listing we would have to do a guessing type of approach we could for example go right click if you have a professional version of burp you could right click engagement tools discover contents and this will utilize several word lists several algorithms to try to see if it can find any contents that might be hidden inside of this folder. Also based upon data that you have already seen on this domain, such as file names and variables and so on, we're gonna try to change around of these names and see if we can find more stuff. Other tools that would do this are, for example, Dirbuster, and I'm sure there's a bunch of others as well, say, for example, in Kali Linux, that will allow you to try to brute force and guess if there's any contents in a web directory. And guess what? We do this every single pen test. Very, very relevant 
to find what type of attack service your websites have, what the systems have uh, to, to attack, if there's any other scripts. Say, for example, we had a script called viewusers.aspx, for example. Well, I'm not going to believe that this is the only thing that is, is in this folder. I cannot see all the files in this folder, but I'm not going to believe that the users is, 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 is the only script that is in there. There might be stuff such as edit user. There might be stuff such as change or add or remove users. So in pen testing, in hacking in general, there is a lot of guesswork. There's a lot of finding your way around, but it's definitely necessary. So. That's it for this video. I'm gonna head off to the next level. I believe we did get the, the password. Let's see if it works. So back here, NATUS3. Of course, there is no such use, uh, script up there, NATUS3. Paste in the password. And of course, NATUS4, shouldn't it be? Huh? NATUS4, paste in the password. Oh, there is nothing on it. These levels are actually, okay, similar. Similar levels. Next video, we're going to go through this level. See what it's all about. Thank you very much for watching. See you around. Cool.